These are some of the best story missions in any video game that I've ever played. And they all were absolutely 100% free. And it's a shame that a lot of people have a hard time getting into Warframe. So this is a quick beginner guide, so that way you can hit the ground running, so that way you can also experience those amazing missions. I know you don't want the whole backstory, but I'm a new player to Warframe. I've been playing for about a week and a half, and I already have about 100 hours in the game. I've sped through the star chart, and I've completed all the main story missions. My Twitch chat has helped me along the way. I'm going to pass on some of that knowledge, so that you're not so overwhelmed when you play this game. So without getting into spoilers you are a tenno a space ninja i would categorize this game as an action mmo looter shooter but the game's really not what you think it is there is a ton to do in this game and to give you some guidance i would recommend that you do the missions on the star chart there are different nodes that you can complete and to make your way to the junction you will have certain objectives to complete to unlock the junction to bring you to the next planet i do recommend getting to these junctions as fast as possible and try to get to uranus as fast as possible if you want to get to those story missions and speaking of story missions, there are tons of quests to do besides just the mission nodes on the planets. And a quick tip, there's a drop down on the top right, and you can switch it to the main story one. And I recommend setting your eyes on the second dream, as this is where the story gets really interesting. And that's why I recommend getting to Uranus, as that's one of the prerequisites to unlock this quest. Eventually, you'll make your way to the War Within. This is one of the best story missions I've ever played in any video game. When you start the game, you can choose one of three characters. And the character I played as was Volt, who you see here, but he does have a skin. But don't worry, you're not locked to just this one character. You can unlock more as you progress in the game. For example, regardless of what one of the three first characters you choose, you can go to the market and go to Warframes. Then you can check this box right here to hide items without blueprints. And this scares a lot of people away when they see this premium currency you have to pay with money. But just regardless, as all these frames that are shown here, you can get with in-game credits. That's why I had you check that box. So as you click in, you can see here you can buy the blueprint with credits. You will have to find the other pieces to create this character. Rhino is located on Venus on the mission called FOSA. You could farm the boss on FOSA. It's a super fast mission to get all the parts for Rhino. If you did not choose to start with Mag, you could get her blueprint for the market with credits and farm this boss right here to unlock that character. This is a planet you go to early on called Phobos. Then on Mars, you could farm the boss on War to unlock the other starting character, Excalibur. So if you go with Volt, he's a little bit harder to get. You'll then more easily be able to unlock Excalibur and Mag pretty early in the game. When you get the blueprints and those pieces, you can craft them in the foundry. A quick tip on the top, you can choose different sections. You can click right on Warframe to access those blueprints you've unlocked. There's a ready to build tab and also an in progress tab. And if you're ever curious where to find the specific materials needed to make the different blueprints, if you hover over it, it tells you right here what planets to get these materials from. One of the more daunting things in the game is applying different mods. You can access this from your equipment, then arsenal, upgrade, then you can apply different mods on your character to increase its power and other attributes. You'll find plenty of these mods early in the game just dropping from enemies as you play the missions. And as this is a beginner guide, I won't cover all the other more rare mods that you get later in the game. But there's also mods for your weapons as well to increase its damage and apply different effects. Riding your spaceship, you can upgrade these mods. And a helpful thing, you can go over to duplicates. And from here, you can take your duplicates with multiple stacks. And I recommend choosing to sell them for endo. Is the currency needed to upgrade mods for the future. If you're curious of which one you actually have equipped on your character, you can see in the bottom of the mod a hexagon that's glowing that indicates that it is equipped on a certain weapon or character. And don't worry, you can put the same mod on as many of your Warframes as you want or as many weapons as you want. It's not locked to just one. To upgrade a mod, you can select it and select the top left box. One thing to be careful about, some mods have a lot more levels to upgrade. Before you know which mods are super good, you want to be careful not to waste too much endo as these can get very expensive. But the mods with three or five upgrades don't really cost too much. That's pretty much it to get you started. Do the different missions on the planets, navigate to the junctions to unlock more planets, to progress on as your main goal is to get to Uranus, to do the second dream quest as that's where the story gets really interesting. Along the way, unlock more Warframes that have different abilities and apply mods on your armor and weapons to make you more powerful. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there are three open worlds that you could literally fish and mine, level up different factions, do bounties. You can even use a mech in this game. There's actually space missions where you can fly around in your suit or even fly a spaceship in space battles. There's so much to do in this game. It's worth your time. This game has been out for 11 years and it's gone through multiple years of polish and it's definitely an excellent game. And the update coming in the winter, Warframe 1999, looks to continue the quality. So if you're interested in those 1999 trailers or gameplay, just so you know, that story does take place after all the current story that's in the game right now. But great news, there's no FOMO. Take your time. This developer does not remove any of its main story content.